tonight. I um, really want to thank the press for coming to help us celebrate a very, very special accomplishment. Um, you're looking at a group of people, when you look at me and Pat Berger and our board, who have been sitting on this since October. And uh, we've had to kind of keep this news to ourselves because it wasn't official yet. Um, but finally, we got the official word, and so we invited you all here tonight to tell you about our journey to national accreditation. Um, I believe if you have not had a tour yet of this facility, I believe you will see and you will understand why we are so incredibly pleased with what has been accomplished here. But it has been quite a journey. And that's what I want to lay out for you tonight. I want to tell you about the journey that we've been on since really 2004. See, this is the culmination of a number of dreams. And they're big dreams. They were and they are still big dreams. We don't dream small here. I think uh, I look around at their board members and our nurses and uh, Pat, and they'll all tell you we don't dream small. We dream big. And thankfully, God has honored our dreams and our, our wishes and our efforts. But in 2004, it all started with a dream really basically in my heart. Uh, a dream that the system, and when I say the system, I mean the criminal justice system, the child protection system. The dream was that the system could somehow, some way, treat kids a whole lot better. A whole lot better. And at the same time as we treat kids better, treat them with compassion, treat them with love, that we would also have better investigations. My dream was also that agencies would work together that they would coordinate their efforts for the good of the child and for the good of the investigation, that they'd be accountable to each other. And as a result of that, the guilty would be punished and the innocent would be cleared quickly and that the child would not be damaged in the process. The dream was that we would have a facility one day. In 2004, that dream seemed far far away, but we would have a facility where a place where abused children could come from all over the region. Remember, we dream big. It wasn't just Brookville or Punxsy or Jefferson County. We were hoping that we would be able to bring children from the entire area, that they could come and tell the sad story of their abuse, but they would do it in a place where they felt safe, where they felt cared for, where they kept, felt valued and I'd even dare say it, where they felt loved. A place that would not intimidate them, like a police station, like a cold, sterile office, and a place where we would do everything possible to make it as least traumatic on the child as we could. 